Hello, this is Marcus Thordahl, Principal Solution Architect at Broadcom. In this demonstration, we will show how storage traffic is distributed across port channels connecting UCS Fabric Interconnects with FCOE to Brocade SAN. This is supported with the FC32-64 blade. In addition, we will show how traffic failover as individual links within a port channel and complete port channels go offline and come back online. Now let's first review the setup. On the diagram, we can see we have a UCS chassis with B-series servers connected to two fabric interconnects. The model is 6332-16UP. We're using 40 gig interfaces to connect to the Brocade FC32-64 in two X6 directors for respectively Fabric A and Fabric B. We're using two connections per Fabric Interconnect, so we have two port channels with two links in each port channel. Let's now review the port channels from the UCS Manager. In the UCS Manager, we go to SAN and we take a look at the port channels we have configured here. So you can see here, connecting to Brocade Fabric A, we have a port channel that we named 11, and both links are up. The ports on the Fabric Interconnect that we used are port 35 and 36. And let's now look at the port channel from the other Fabric Interconnect named port channel 22 going to fabric B and also here we used port 35 and 36 and both links are up. Now we will go to the ESX server to which we have provisioned a LUN over this port channel. So you can see here there is a 10 gig LUN And we have configured the multipathing setting to be round robin. On that, we defined a data store. And then we have a VM to which we've provisioned a virtual disk on this data store. So you can see here, small virtual disk, but it's on that data store. So let's now go to the VM and start some I.O. So before we start the I.O., we just want to validate that we have the virtual disk mounted. And you can see it here, the 2 gig uh, virtual disk. And then we just use a I.O. Uh, generation tool to run some traffic. And we'll run 50% read, 50% write. So now we started that. Let's go back and look at the Brocade SAN. So first we list the port channel on Fabric A. You can see the member ports are 9.0 and 9.4. And if we look at the traffic going across that port, you can see that we have even distribution of traffic across both. And the same in Fabric B. We show the port channel on 9.0, 9.4. And we can also see here the traffic is evenly distributed across both ports. If we look from the Fabric Interconnect side here on the CLI, then what we do first is just clear the counters. And then we show the rate of traffic across. And you can see, obviously, this corresponds to what we saw on the Brocade side with even distribution of traffic across the two links within each uh, port channel, and then even distribution across the two port channels. Now let's go back to Fabric A here and, and fail a member within the port channel. So we will simply just disable one of the ports, and we disable port 9.0. And we see here that uh, the port channel uh, then reforms 
and on the surviving port or the surviving link within the port channel, it takes over all the traffic while the other port channel connected to fabric B was not impacted at all. Now we will recover the member within the port channel. So we re-enable port 90. And then as the link comes back online and becomes part of the port channel, we see the traffic distributes uh, evenly across the two links within the port channel, just like in the original state. Now what we will do is we will fail the complete port channel And then we see as we go to uh, Fabric B that all the traffic fills over uh, to Fabric B. Again, evenly distributed across the two links within the fabric. Now we will recover the port channel connected to Fabric A. So we re-enable ports 9.0 and 9.4. And then as the port channel comes online, we can now see traffic is again redistributed across that port channel and within the links in the port channel. And here we're reviewing the, the port channel and Fabric B that we didn't touch. This completes the demonstration. For details on how to configure UCS connected to Brocade SAN using FCRE port channels, follow the links below to the demonstration video and best practice deployment guide. Thank you for watching.